July 29th. That was the day that I was on Fremont Street shooting a TikTok live when suddenly and without any warning, I was approached by about eight to ten police officers. Marshals and Metro Cops. Yeah. Yep. They uh, put me in handcuffs. Um, we, uh, you've seen the video. I've had it posted um, since that time. But now, since I have uh, met Kevin, I've been you finally have time. And yeah, we've been so busy. Uh, but now we've been we're gonna do a, a whole video about July 29th because it's key to uh, the uh, story of uh, uh, exposing Mark Nemchuk that we're trying to do, and it's key to police involvement with Nemchuk and uh, Arcadia security involvement with Nemchuk, basically supporting him and uh, retaliating against me. In this video, Kevin's going to do most of the talking because, as you, as we well, said, well, you're going to be asking the questions. Yes, you're, you're uh, uh, the spotlight is on you on this one because because I have the inside of what led to the cops coming to you exactly. And some background, I didn't know why uh, the police put me in handcuffs. I could only assume that Nemchik uh, was responsible because police were talking to me. They didn't give me a reason for the handcuffing. And one of the things I've been doing constantly is trying to f ask police, why was I put in handcuffs? Why was I put in handcuffs that night? And why? And I have the answer. Yeah. How is that possible, you ask? Because as you know, Kevin here was working as Nemchik's bodyguard I guess you're not a scam. Let me, um, let me, let me keep you didn't know it was a scam, obviously. Uh, you were duped. You were uh, uh, conned by one of the slickest con men in America, uh, Mark Nemchik, who uh, got you to believe his lies about himself, which is that he's like a war hero, yada, 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 you know all that, the 9 truck scam, the same thing he was doing then, pretending to be a Navy SEAL, have a war record, you know, decorated, you know, uh, um, war hero. Just a bunch of lies. Of course. And let's not even get into the 9-11 firefighting line, which is, uh, to me, one of the worst. Because focus on uh, July 29th. Yeah, uh, and we want to focus on July 29th. So um, the reason that Kevin's uh, uh, testimony, uh, eyewitness testimony to that night, is so important. He was not there on Fremont when it happened. I was, obviously, and you can see my whole night there in the live. And but, you were there because you were looking for me and Mark... Just keeping an eye out. I was uh, um, interested in who was uh, going in and out of the Walgreens or on Fremont who might be connected to Nimchik, or maybe I would stumble into Nimchik himself. And let me tell you this. A lot of what led but, to the police and shutting down his live that day stems between the time frame of 1.52 a.m. and when he was already mobile on Fremont by 2.18 a.m. Right. So... Here's what I'm here to validate. Let me do a little bit of background first, because I was on Fremont. Where were you at the time I was on Fremont? Don't know that. The last address where I was residing at, uh, in the uh, time that I was discovering and took yeah. snapshots. Screenshots of my live. Screenshots, yeah. Of the live that you still have. Um, and uh, at the time, I was... They're there. living with, with Kendra and Mike Nimchik. Everybody uh, is going to be getting a place that is going to be custom built. This is what you call true love, guys. Many years together and lots and lots of love. They were having issues paying rent, and obviously I had issues uh, getting out of an apartment because of some past evictions that we'll talk later and if we have to on that. All right. So, so on that night, I began the live, um, and I was walking uh, um, around uh, uh, the container park for a while. And and you tuned into it about 40 minutes after it started, and that was at 1.02 a.m., first um, screenshot that you had. We can put that up on the screen for people. You don't have to show them. But he's got them all on his phone. Uh, so, um, what, tell us about it. A bunch of screenshots, everybody. Oh, yeah. So you're sitting there at home. You're with Mike and Kendra. But Mark Nemchik is... Uh, 
Pike and Kendra were living above Park Nimchek at the same complex. Uh, Kendra and Michael weren't as in tune as I was because I felt like I was doing something good uh, when I was in belief of their lives. They thought I was the bad guy. She did those screenshots hey. only because I wanted to expose the bad side of you yeah. as best as I could based on the information that I had received right. from Mike and Mark Nimchek. This is all background. I just wanted to get through, but I'll let you tell your story in your own words. But, so uh, you were sitting there at home. You were you were on TikTok. And Mike and Kendra, Kendra weren't out. as involved. Well, yeah, yeah. But, I, but, I, I think, but, the, but then it gets to the point between that uh, time frame of one fifty two a.m. and 2.18 when he's walking the rest of the way down Fremont before he gets confronted by the police. That's right. Handcuffing itself happens at 2.45, or in your phone, uh, it says 2.47, um, and it begins at 1.02, and you tune in. Uh, no, no, you tune in at 1.02 a.m. You see the exposing Mark Nimchik uh, account is doing a live on TikTok. What did you think? And based on what I was believing at the time of Mike and Kendra and Mark Nimchik, that, you know, I was trying to, you know, do what I can. And that's why I got those screenshots to collect the evidence that is necessary to, at the time, get you right. arrested and convicted. Now, main thing where it really breaks down to is that uh, time frame 152 a.m. again, screenshots and two and two eighteen. When you were sitting there for a little over twenty minutes or so, uh in be in a specific spot spanning uh you know your camera between Walgreens most of the time and rest of the uh, food on Fourth Street. Yeah. Somewhere in between the window window block of one fifty two to two eighteen, Mike Nimchek decides to get on the phone and and make a phone call. I didn't know at the time who he was calling, and all, and I didn't find out until the very next day when I hear that Jonathan Cates was released because the police didn't have any evidence. So when you noticed that line, you took that screenshot at 102, you you said to Mike, like, hey, look at this. In the beginning, I was like, hey, Cates is live, you know, and I, and I popped in and started watching. And a lot of what the Nimchaks were saying is what I was looking for, and I thought I caught it, but it never was. Not exactly what I was lied to about. And uh, I found out after re arriving there the next day um, that there was a point in the window block of 152 to 218 when John was recording Walgreens and doing what he was doing, that the person that he was talking to, was see what we found out the very next day was CJ. See you. Person that he was talking to, was see what we found out the very next day was CJ. See you. CJ. See you. CJ. See you. So, did you ever talk about trying to get me fired at Walgreens? Do what? Trust is not me. Okay. I know Mark had brought that up a few times. Okay. Um, did you show them a fake restraining order? Right. You showed a fake restraining order, said that you touched a nine year old girl's butt. And that's what got you fired. You tell that too. Uh, CJ? 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 He told me um, a few Security things that order? led to uh, the arrest or detainment of Jonathan Cates, which ended the life. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, so, that's important stuff we can get into later. So, what I found out from CJ so the... was, was that Mike Nimchek had called CJ. Right. CJ then gets on his mobile device, whether it was his work or personal, unknown at this time. And that's the following he, he not only after he pointed out where Cates was, CJ admitted that he had made a phone call. And I remember him talking and he, he made a phone call to the, I guess, which would be the police. And he worded it in a way that, in somebody my level, I called different, but they called it, he, he worded it in a way that I can tell it was affiliated to the job title he is. Right. And so the, he admitted to me that he had made the phone call that not only led to your uh, ending of the feed, told you but the he admitted day. to me that he received a phone call from Michael Nimchik, and the rest is pretty much explainable uh, at this point. The next day, which would have also been the 29th. Yes. Um, so let's go back to that night, and then we can talk about um, how CJ, you know, outed himself the next day. It's, and he's he he's on Mark and Ma Mike and Mark's side. Yeah. And that goes back. Buddies with, he's, he's on Mark and Ma Mike and Mark's side. Yeah. 
and that goes back. Pickles buddies with Pickles buddies with Pickles buddies with. And, um, how CJ, you know, outed himself the next day and said that he took that call. You, you saw the lie, and you told Mike, and it took him a little while. It, uh, uh, about fifty minutes between the time you first told him and the time you he made a call. And tell me about that call. He didn't know who he was talking. To. I didn't know who Michael was talking to because again, I had just. At this time was recently, you know, moved in. What'd you hear? Getting to know everybody that I'm going to be associating myself with during this time. Also being lied to and helping Mike and Mark Nimchek and what he found out later on was a big old scam right. or con, whatever we call it. Exactly. Yeah, I call it a And uh, scam. either way. So what, so what did he say on the phone? I wasn't very attentive to the conversation. However, I knew that because you were in front of Walgreens for a while. I know that Mike Nimchak said he's going to make a phone call. Again, didn't know it was CJ. It could have been anybody that, that, that is relation of Walgreens, right. whether it's Arcadia or Walgreens staff. But now but Mike Nimchak clearly made a phone call. and To CJ. To CJ. And CJ admitted to me the very next day when I had arrived back on Fremont uh, during the night, flying here and there. Case was not, you know, detained. He was released. And you didn't hear what CJ said back to him on the phone. No. But, uh, and if you think it's far-fetched that uh, the son of the uh, uh, notorious uh, scam artist Mark Nimchik is calling a security guard to apparently launder information. Mike Nimchik definitely, definitely has we heard CJ's him. number. And that's huge. Um, Kendra, by the way, says in the interview and that I've posted that we had a uh, November 11th, uh, that, that, uh, well, she verifies that. Well, no, she verifies that, uh, uh, CJ, um, uh, um, Mark, uh, Mike Nimchik also told CJ something else, which is that pedophile lie that that uh, Kendra confirmed. Which oh, I, I, broke, I, broke that, I broke that whole pedophile bull trap real quick. A, oh, oh, yeah. and, but, but there's all kinds of lies that they told about me. Yeah. The important part of that um, interview related to July 29th is that Kendra says, uh, uh, when she says that he told CJ and I have every indication that CJ told other people that lie. Again, Mike used CJ and I believe other security guards to launder misinformation about me. In this case, the night of July 29th, it was a police report. But on other occasions, before and after, he laundered uh, lies about me to the effect that I was blah, 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 homeless, crazy, in an in in mental institution, um, a fugitive, and of course, the big lie, a pedophile. But the really important part in that interview with Kendra is that she says they were buddies. They were buddies. CJ was look, buddies with video Mark from and from Mike. Days, you look at the video from a few days ago. More for yourself. What do you see when Mark Nimchak unannounced in that video? You see him for like five minutes, you know, shooting a shooting a junk, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm trying to be uh polite on here. Uh, with CJ and all the other staff members. Yeah, yeah we saw so, him on Monday. So, therefore... All these months later, this was only one week. Monday is not even one week ago that we no. filmed the Nimchaks coming back into the Walgreens. Not a confrontation video uh, because I was so shocked to see them. And they and not only that, you shut Michael Nimchak yeah, They weren't scamming anymore. There was no... So, oh, you shut Michael Nimchak no because when he tried to come against uh, after you that day... You know, the typical aggression that he does. As soon as you mention... I hit him with certain... the truth. Or with the the truth that I have been in touch with his father's his, his We're going to have it off subject to the July 29th. However, I think but, he just got a point the, across from July 29th. But the claim that Scalgione made is what I hit him with. I, the thing and is, I'm going to put When Michael Nimchak was like... Uh, yes, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, that's that name. Yeah, his hand went down. He was losing his composure. To hear that Scalgione, Just remember that, everybody. To hear that Scalgione, who's right there in the sign you made, uh, to, 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 to put on Freeman also, has been in touch with me at long last uh, and wants to get out his side of the story. Basically, what Scalgione uh, is doing right now, and we do not. But we can say plan, that for we, we don't plan to, you know, be on his side all the way through this, you know, meaning afterwards. 
we need his side of the story because I know what Scale G1 is trying to do. Yeah. And that's and that's move on from this uh mess that Mark Nimchek created. And I don't take anything Scale G1 says at face value. You know, it's all it's all about trust but, but Scale Gion did confirm trust but verify. Scale Gion did confirm by solidifying yeah, like I said in the what I've witnessed, what you've witnessed to add to the add to the you know the truth of Mark Nimchek himself. Yeah, and like I said in the video, there uh, uh, Scalgio has indicated that Mike Nemchik, who is the one uh, making uh, and Mark, of course, have both made those uh, lies about me uh, being a pedophile, and you can see it in the July or uh, the November twenty. There's uh, numerous videos. The night of the twenty first and the twenty second, when it's on the twenty first, where they're screaming, and Brandon Acosta's there too, and he's joining in them, screaming and screaming, pedophile, pedophile. Uh, but 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 now we have indications that uh, uh, Thomas Scale uh, um, uh says that uh, well not indications we have now Thomas Scale Gion word for word testimony making, through a, a social without app. coming into detail just yet because it's it's got a little bit too hot to handle but um, he he's making the same pedophile accusation against making a check and Scale Gion would know because the other new information is that. Mike Nimchik was with the 9-11 truck, even though it was never reported in media, never reported in court documents. He was never charged with the 9-11 truck scam as Skelgeon and uh, Nimchik were. And that's big news. And we are going to talk more about that later. Michael was with his father anywhere that truck went. Anywhere that truck went, Michael was there because his dad would bring along Michael and Michael got all brand new shit and all kinds of other shit. Michael was with his father anywhere that truck went. Anywhere that truck went, Michael was there. Michael was with his father anywhere that truck went. But getting back to July 29th. Pretty much so we answered it. You're sitting there? Uh, so you hear Mike make the call. Definitely. And then Mike, is he involved with anything? What's he doing after that in the house? Just chilling and relaxing. Didn't, didn't you know, talk about right? me. Didn't talk about the video. It's nothing that would be. Not that you know of. He could have been texting. He could have been texting with CJ the whole time. I don't know. Been, but as far as anything, anything that I can tell but you, you don't have an indication of that. But you can confirm that he made the call. You got CJ. CJ. You didn't know it was CJ. Uh, but the next line. CJ made the CJ confirmed. He went to tell. Gotcha. Received a call from, and that was Mike Nimchin. Exactly. And and by the way, before I forget. In that video of July 29th, you see CJ wearing a, a white cowboy hat. Uh, and one month and seven days prior to that, we saw, well, we saw me get handcuffed uh, again, like we're going to talk about tonight on July 29th, handcuffed wrongfully again, but not by police, like on July 29th, by an Arcadia security guard named Frankie Sanchez on uh, June 22nd. A little after midnight. I've never been told I'm trespassing. Who told me I'm trespassing? And the reason that's important is because I sit there for over an hour on the floor in handcuffs. For, 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 at, See, they're claiming that I was trespassed before, which is not true. There's was, so much. There's so I was much in the store seven finish. hours before. There was no reason I was not trespassed, like you hear him say in the video. And like I say, wait, 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 so you want to talk about the cowboy? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have about three days when I come out of the Walgreens that night in June. Who do I see as soon as I come out? It's Mark Nemchik and Mike Nemchik, and they're talking to police. And I hear and him Mark, talk, talking Mark's about me, black, making up oh, false yeah. accusations against me that I can hear. And yes, Mark Nimchik is wearing a black cowboy hat. And what's your purpose between talking about the cowboy hat? Yes. Yes. Thank 
What's your purpose between talking about the cowboy hat CJ was wearing and then there's Mark wearing it? And that's a small detail, you think. You know, people wear cowboy hats all the time. Mm, but these two, there's only two occasions I've ever seen either of them wearing the cowboy hat, and those are those two uh, nights. And your pants, and what if, are you think they, they go together? Well, let's put our thinking caps on. If I'm going to go out on a limb and say that uh, Mark Nemchik was into cowboy hats for a while at that time in the summer, and he gave that cowboy hat to CJ, which is why he's wearing it. Because they're buddies, according to Kendra. Now, if he gave CJ a cowboy hat, I wonder what else he gave CJ. That's a good possibility. Could it have been cash from his bucket? No, I don't know. I want to ask CJ some questions about that. And here's but why I bet he won't talk to me. We saw him on the interview the uh, last why, Saturday night. And the reason why you're making this assumption, because there was another incident that Arcadia admitted that they got footage of is when you got into the fight with the farmer who goes by the name Sonny D. Right. And Sonny D, apparently, or one of the other people that were in the video... July 17th. Uh, They've uh, denied it happened. Yeah, it happened. The police dropped the investigation in the no, July 17th did, assault. Did one of them admit that and Mark Nimchak or Mike Nimchak gave them or them some alcohol if they whooped your ass? We have a very, very, very uh, close associate of these people involved. I'm not accusing her. Well, I can say that I know that she had knowledge of who Mark Nunchik was. I'm not going to make any accusations or speculations against her at this point. But yes, she confirmed that uh, the reason Sunny D, because she talked to him, and they're close. She's close with a lot of people related to this story. She confirmed that the reason you see Sunny D, um, you know, um, basically getting in my face and trying to drive me away that night, and the part you can't see, the assault uh, by him on me, which was two punches in the neck, directly in front of the Walgreens, which Arcadia security guards witnessed, and should have told police, if police did a proper investigation. He, he told me when I was in, in the same uh, alliance with Mark Nimchak at the time, person in that question. They, they had recordings of it. Yeah. That, uh, and that's like, a whole you know, other I, thing we can talk I about. Arcadia security guys are talking later and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, that that assault when uh, Jonathan was uh, beat up by Sunny D. Yeah, yeah, that was really funny. And we, we have it all on camera. But when I told that in the police station, he, he tries to gaslight me and says, well, we couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Here's the point. Yeah, but the, 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 the point is Dude, the, that the uh, had CJ's wearing. Oh, well, yeah, we're fitting the wrong one. Two CJ, that's a gift. Yep. Which would fall in the same category as what was confirmed yep. that, they, that Sunny all those, and his other affiliates were in the All those facts line up with the alcohol. So, you, yeah, yeah. You, the, so, and you see that you see witness, Mike Mark Nimchak and even in the recent video, socializing. Right. Okay. That it includes that. You believe the cowboy hat in the buddy buddy system? That's one piece of it. It's it's stemming from. It's all like an like an inside job. Exactly. They're all because together. because you know it's it, it, they're using the, what we call it the a reward system. They are witting or unwitting accomplices of Mark Nemesha. You, for example, were an unwitting accomplice. I don't know if Sunny D was witting or unwitting, uh, but I want to talk to him about it. Oh, and 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 getting back to the reason we're talking about him. Uh, also, besides he's important for the assault, is that we figured out why he did that, particularly that night, is that um, Mark Nemchik was on the street, and the close associate that I that I mentioned before, who is will be unnamed for now, told us that Mark Nemchik himself gave a bottle of liquor to Sunny D. We're gonna make our money down and you didn't catch the fact that he's got real niggas all the way around him, everywhere he is. And you better watch yourself, bro. What's your name? My name is Sunny D, bro. Guess, guess what? What I'm saying is, is chill the fuck out. Talking to my motherfucking homies like you got friends. Were you ever in combat? Because me, Mark and them check was not. Many times I did two tours in Vietnam and one in Korea. Stolen valor. And told him to basically take care of me. Because I was standing peacefully in front of that Walgreens again in the middle of Fremont Street. First Amendment rights, uh, 
exercising my speech. exercising my First Amendment rights, doing a good thing for my community, telling the truth, not committing any crimes. Mark Nemchik gave a bottle of liquor to Sonny D and told him to basically make trouble for me. And now we're gonna try and cut this short within the thirty minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you going on like Sonny D recently? I have yes. And what, is Sonny, my, what is Sonny D doing right now? He has my contact info. He can reach out to me anytime. All I want is to uh, talk and establish some facts if he wants to get the truth out. Or he can uh, do like everybody, or not everybody, but quite a few people involved in this. They can just ignore me, ignore us, and pretend that this law will go away. And my message to Sunny D is that it will not go away. Um, we're, it's true that the police uh, dropped the report against you. But there's new information. A lot. And you're not in the clear. You're not in the clear at all. Buddy. Right now, we're at the point that... Hey, what I want to warn the public about. Talk to me now. Is we're starting to get make it new, easier for yourself. We're starting to get new intel from unsuspected people. A lot. Our first one was Thomas Scalgiola. Oh no, no, he wasn't the first. By now, far. for me, for me being here, he's, he's he's maybe the first in the sense that he's a uh, he's a pretty big fish in this story. Uh, but, but the thing uh, is, we're we're getting uh, daily, if not, I would say so. At least at least a couple day, double days, different days a week. Pretty regular. Right. Yeah, we're getting random. Messages from people that are seeing Mike and Mark. Yeah, because more and more attention is on the screen. Everything that Mr. Tins here has posted, they're they're realizing day to day, Mr. Cates has all the evidence yeah. right there. Now I understand again, I still feel that his file is a little discombobulated <laughs> because it's about Mark Nimchak, but there's other people involved, but they all connect. Yeah, I mean, I would have to go to journalism. So, so right I, now, I'm a journalist, and I'm, I'm doing my best to expose a story that local journalists uh, so far have refused to as a so, so-called citizen journalist. So here's what we're... Well, here we go. Through the, back to July 29th. Let, yeah. let me ask you this. So um, you, 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 uh, you told Mike. Mike made the call. We know it was to CJ. And then uh, he wasn't... He didn't talk about it anymore that night. Um, well, well, he didn't talk about it until you kept watching the live. You didn't, uh, you were watching that live the whole time. You thought it was important because yes. I am the, the crazy guy who's threatening Mark Nemchik. You thought who was a great guy. So you kept watching the live and nothing much happened in it. Right. I mean, I'm not just typical. You uh... I was walking up and down Fremont with my sign and, uh, wait that night. No, no, sorry. That night, I did not have the sign. No, you were just filming, trying to look for me and Mark at the time. Yeah. And, and you end up over at the Golden Nugget. That's right. The handcuffing takes place at 2.45. And in the video that you can watch, that's already been posted a long, long time ago. Well, there's that clip of the video uh, for, I, I believe it's about two minutes, that shows me. I have the whole live, and I'm going to post that too. Um, I probably should have done it before, but really that uh, that part... At the very end, where I get handcuffed is the key part. But also, you can see CJ earlier on, and now that is key. So I need to post that entire live video that I've saved, of course. I saved everything. And uh, so, let's get to the point. You're watching the live, going up and down Fremont. And then, you see me walk. Um, I'm walking um, back um, uh, east toward uh, the Walgreens. But I'm on. I'm next to the Golden Nugget at that point. And you see me pass by the Golden Nugget, and I take a right on the Casino Center, and I take a moment to uh, stand there, um, holding the camera still, so people can get a view of the crosswalk and all the activity there, and the Fremont Casino. As you're looking for the new market, Sam. There's that too, but by that time, I think I've established that um, there's nothing really going on with Nemchek on the street tonight, and there's no associates of his, so, uh, so I... I lean against this palm tree, and there's a row of palm trees there, and you can see one that's in front of me. I am the leaning against the second one, just standing there and filming out of the crosswalk. Nothing much is nothing much is happening. But I look to my right, or I notice to my right, I don't point the phone at it, but I notice there's two police cars, and there's uh, several police officers standing there, and they're looking at me in a pretty pretty close, interested way. And so I, um, after about a minute of them looking at me and me they looking at the camera towards them, you turn the camera that way, and that's when you see in the video, and you were watching it live, and you saw it. 
What did you think at that point? Did you have any Once you got involved with the cops, like I said, I was in belief of Mike the Mark Nimchek's, you know, you story. Any, you didn't have any yeah, indication yeah. that the police were going to come after me that night. But yeah, you were saw thinking the because, I because seen, he made the call. The, I've seen the signs. So I really wasn't assuring until it actually happened. And then, and you knew that he made that call, but, but I didn't know that. So I'm just sitting there nonchalantly, but I do notice this. And then all of a sudden, you see those police... They come right at me. As soon as they took care of your video and everything, I, I literally... What did, you, what did you think when you saw that? I felt a sign of gratification. I thought, actually, I stopped somebody who needed to be stopped for once, you know? And I don't know if you've ever gotten a feeling... Even though I wasn't doing anything wrong. But the fact that it's it just a history that I was being told to believe or bought to believe, manipulated to believe, however you want to look at it. You know, I, it was one of those feelings that, like, only only those that, that do good justice, you know, you can enjoy. I, I felt like you, you laid it. And that fits into what you said on some public uh, TikTok uh, uh, comments you made and a video you made um, with of me carrying that sign. You didn't, you, you never met me, and I never met you at that point. And that was in July. Same, around the same time. In a way, had that. you know, the feeling, the feeling was what you expect when you, when you're thinking you're taking down a bad guy. Uh, he's good. He's good and done. You know what I mean? I just want you guys to understand the other day. I feel very sorry that that what Jonathan went through. No, no need for that. But if you can see, we're already working things out, uh, even with our little differences we'll just say but oh, we worked things out a long time ago i'd say no we got differences in between our videos but you know at the end of the day we have creative differences in the way that the all this stuff should be presented maybe all right, yeah. let's just let's just get this video to, to yeah. come to an end july 29th let's let's uh so so there's the hand let's give you a conclusion what we can actually both agree that we yeah we don't want to know we don't want to uh um yeah, people up. We're going up to almost uh, 30 minutes. And uh, so, and then um, what did you do when you saw me put in handcuffs? Did you tell? I was not uh, even, I, I was uh, not on the strip or Fremont, anything like that. I was, you know, still at the place. And when I, when the life heat ended, you know, I just felt so happy. I went to bed, you know, better than ever, you know, rest the whole night till I got the word that you're, Back on the, you know, on the road, yeah, you know, because I wasn't arrested, <laughs> because I wasn't doing anything wrong. Well, oh, and by the way, that takes me back to those messages in that post uh, on TikTok you made about me, where you say, you know, um, if you see this guy, and it's my picture with the sign uh, in your video, if you see this guy, uh, you know, what did you say, like call police or call, call the security. police or get we can security. put that up on the screen. So, and that's exactly what you did, basically, by informing Mike, Mike calling. Uh, Somebody we now know is CJ to get the word out eventually to police and then the police come at me and handcuff me and they say they ask me questions about a gun and it's pretty obvious now what Mike told him either on the phone that you didn't hear maybe in text messages later or maybe to keep no paper trail they had made they had arranged with each other before so like you ever see him you um. You uh, yeah, you're say he has a gun. Say he has a gun. Because we've been, because we've already confirmed that Mark Nimshek has has told police on many occasions that I can get into that I have that I've had a, that I have a gun to get me in trouble with the police. To turn the table. To say he's a good guy. He's crazy. And I'm really just a good guy exposing him. I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. So that I've had a, that I have a gun. To get me in trouble with the police, to turn the, the table, to say he's a good guy, he's crazy, but I'm really just a good guy exposing him. And Mike he also Jackson. said that you had some weapons in that Mark Nimchik can walk. Uh, yes, day. it was on November 12th, and uh, long to keep that simple, that day I was uh, calling for a civil assist to retrieve my property from the uh, Starlight Motel, which is now a uh, apartment complex instead of a hotel and mike well, turned I was the right tables back. on you and said he did because i just want you guys to go back on that photos they sent him of the mark nimchik can walk or mark nimchik is standing in front of his complex where he lives so 
Uh, and they told police you disclosure, I don't promote that anybody that now knows where Mark Nimzik lives, you know, do any harm to him and put me in the middle of it. Absolutely. But it's obviously you can see that the complex well, legal but yes, methods here. Yeah, you see Mike Nimchek, if you zoom in, he's on the phone. That was the same time I was on hold with the uh, North Las Vegas Police Department. Uh, requesting a civil service as North Las Vegas says, but I find out when the police finally come, my phone almost dies because they didn't charge, I was unable to charge it fully because I was on the streets during that time too. And there's many and, and, the, and the cops there told me that they received a phone call from Mike Nimchek saying that I had a knife that was brandishing a knife ready to use it, and that's why there was all those guys that you see in the in the uh, photo where the Mark Nimchek walk uh, was, and I never had a knife on me, and if I did. Clearly, which I which I would remember if I had a knife on me or not, it was not in my hand or even in my pocket. Me, I, they wouldn't have known. They wouldn't have known. Not not brandishing it. But the fact is, had no weapon on me, and clearly, they made know, it out. If anything, if I were to bring out a weapon, it would have been for my protection because it was one against right. all those. Yeah, there were a lot of people there. Rios was there. You know, especially Kim knowing there, knowing me. Mark was there. Mike Nimshik was there, and uh, was Nick there. Nick was in there, yeah. Brandon was in there, yeah, yeah. Kendra, Rios. Those two, Mark Nimchik and Walker. Uh, Mike Nimchik, you know, they, they were all in the, you know out there ready to take me on. And I just sat there on the other side of the street where I was told already when mm -hmm. I need to make the phone call. And we can uh, we can insert here uh, some other instances uh, where Mark Nimchik has accused me of having a gun. Um, in I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. I'm here because somebody said somebody had a gun. Turning the tables like that. We also learned on on uh, on um, Friday in this new video I posted. This is just just two days old that I figured out finally because the police slipped up and actually told the truth by reading a report from that night that the reason Frankie Sanchez or somebody gave for that uh, trespassing in the Walgreens was because take a wild guess what I was accused of. But never told of until yeah, today. Having a gun. Having a gun. So I'm on my way to D Tech Police Station. Did you claim you had a fake? Gun? Did you fake it? Did you claim you had a gun? <laughs> Is that what it says? Absolutely not. You said you would call it a fake gun. I did not. That is a lie. That is the first time I am hearing that. That is the that that is a lie. That is an absolute lie. That is the first time I am hearing of that. Can you repeat that? Close it out. What does it exactly just say about a gun? They made up a story that I was no, saying I have a gun. A no, I did not. No, I did not. That is ridiculous. That is absurd. If you're ma making that accusation against me, I want to see evidence. Up. Ma let me see the evidence against me. That's a Sixth Amendment. What? Goodbye. I have the right to confront my accusers. Goodbye. Right? In the, it's under the Constitution, the Sixth Goodbye. Amendment. You're saying that I said I had a gun? No. That is a lie. Goodbye. That is a bold-faced lie. Goodbye. Whoever said that is a liar. Goodbye. Can I have a copy of 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 that of of of, of that? I would like to know why it was dropped, and I would like to know who's saying that I said I had a gun. You're saying who said that I had a gun? I want to know their name. No one. I didn't. Yes, you did. First of all, no. Second of all, not gonna happen. Hello. Have a great day. Are you sure you don't want a copy? Have a great day. You don't want a copy of the Nemchek report? Hey, sir. Because I came to get it. I asked you to leave. Oh, yes, I remember you. I bet you had uh, free musky, remember? Yeah, let's go. She read it off of the computer screen. If you had a gun. And then she denies it later. Two, two seconds later, she's like, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Either way, if you had a gun and you were coming on with a gun that they knew of, I don't think you would have even so, gotten, gotten anywhere near Walgreens or anywhere. You would have been surrounded very quickly in a similar fight fashion yeah. to the July 29th. Actually, you, would have, you would have been surrounded. Absolutely. So It was just a lie that they made up to uh, um, get me in trouble and to make people think that I'm the criminal. Whether or not Sanchez knew I had a... I did, whether or not Sanchez legitimately believed I had a gun, or whether Sanchez thought, oh yeah, that's me. Um, or they... I don't think they... I don't think any of them said anything about that gun at the time. The gun story was put in that report she was reading later. Uh, to initiate a taser a faster and quicker response. Yeah, because at the time, none of them ever 
uh, asked me about a gun while I was and I was sitting there for over an hour in handcuffs. Nobody ever asked me if I had a gun. We, we Sanchez we just wanted to make ever, trouble for you. Were you ever patted uh, down and did they find a gun on you at all? Did they, it was not. Did they, did, they, was not. did they look in your possessions that you brought with you? Did you have a gun? So no. I can tell you guys. Real no, I had a backpack with this, this sign on the back. You can see in that uh, video. Uh, at the very end, because Sam just grabs me, and you can see the sign, you know, his, my hands behind my back. I've never been told I'm trespassing. Who told me I'm trespassing? 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 They never patted me down. They never asked me to go. Um, and I remember because I was I was sitting pretty much the whole time, so they couldn't have like patted me down. Well, either way, point is, yeah, uh, we know now that that I believe that Mark Nemchik told CJ or told Sanchez in this case, hey, you know, get him in trouble somehow, help me out, you know, because you, Arcadia Security, and and us were on the same side against uh, Jonathan. Oh. So so Sanchez just uh, when he saw me, he just kind of spontaneously said, "Oh, I'll I'll just make up the lie that he's trespassed." Oh, but he's on. He's like, "I'm trespassed." They got a reason. So they came up with a reason later that I had the gun, and that's how it got in that that report. Let me ask that's, you that's, this: that's the only way it could have happened. Do you own a gun? I do not. Do you have anything? In the past, I have, and I'm perfectly legally able to have one. I have no violent uh, criminal history or felonies that would prevent me. I, there's no reason that I'd be prevented from having a gun. The only reason why... Or I, a concealed carry. I, I just mean, don't have one. Lord. Oh, but, but you know what I do know? From you? That Nimshik apparently has a gun. Indeed, he does. He also and he's has, a felon. And he's got a switchblade. How's that blade? possible? He's got a switchblade. No. Oh, right now, switchblade, yeah. Right now you know there. I, I don't know if the gun is real that you saw, but you saw a gun in a holster. I it saw was, it. It looked pretty real. It's pretty real. We also have information from um, Jeremiah Andre Garza, uh, who who uh, is known as the uh, the guy who in the past, months ago, was the uh, uh, Jesus character on Fremont Street. Uh, he told me very early on, because he was brainwashed by Nimshik, Nimsh, he has a gun. Like, not in a warning way. In a threatening way, because he also was brainwashed by Nimshik, and I posted his uh, conversations with him. Here's, here's the deal. Unless they can prove that they never had a gun, which I'm very positive that I saw, you know, uh, this was back at the Regency, though. Mm -hmm. You know, let's think about the Nimchicks real quick, because if they see this video, which we're going to make public so everybody can see this, oh, yeah. I already can tell you right now what the Nimchicks are doing every time they see our video. They're trying to fool you by ridding of what we know. But don't forget, but all a lot of the evidence is confirmed by outside sources yeah. who are just as shocked as we are. What can they do? Well, well, uh, Jonathan's lying. Kevin's lying. Okay, well, but, but we have evidence of what we're saying, and you don't have any evidence of what you're saying. So, oh, so let's get back to, to, to July 29th. So the point is that they they began asking me questions. You can't, you, you didn't see this at the live because they cut the live off. That officer who grabs me, and you can see it at the in the video, he's carrying the phone. I believe he turns it off, or he stops the uh, TikTok live. I don't remember when he gave me the phone back, whether it was turned off or not. The point is that they asked me questions, uh, and they asked several questions about, did I have a gun? Did you affirm and you proved your point? Were you in the Walgreens with a gun? Were you threatening people in and around the Walgreens with a gun? Do you have a gun on you? There's a, and I'm like, no, why would you think that? But the other Where's way, this coming from? I kept asking, why me? are you asking me this? Why are you asking me this? And they wouldn't give an answer. Either oh, way, they, they couldn't find one on you. Yeah, you never had one. Yeah, they patted me down, of course. And then, um, about an hour or two later, I'm going to have to check, I have the other video from that same night where I'm following after um, two officers, uh, Ballinger and Brewer. And I'm, and I'm asking them again, hey, hey, uh, I didn't have a gun. Um, I want to know why I was handcuffed. Can you tell me why I was handcuffed? I have a right to know. But I mean, I was put in handcuffs. How can that not there's have camera documentation? And a call record. I need to know what the. There's no paperwork, though. I know. So. Only time you get paperwork after being put in is handcuffs there, is if you go to jail. Is there you didn't a, go to jail. Is there an incident report or any kind of a reference number? I gave you all that information. No, you didn't. 
you can give it to me right now if you want to, because I'm recording you. What is the information? Because I need to, as a reference. Sorry, officers, I... One, two, two. Four eight six zero. That's your incident number. 12244 No, four eight four, six zero. One two two four eight six zero. Six zero? Yep. But I can't know any of the details about who reported it or what was the cause. I told you what the information was. Presumably we there was somebody about. with a gun. I can't give you anybody's names. That's confidential, right? You understand? <sighs> The reason I'm taking this very seriously is no, that Mark know, Nemchik right has uh, been you trying to spread. To in, Mark Nemchik has spread in false information about me. I'm on Fremont Street with regular uh, uh, regulars and uh, workers. Is there a reason that you're still following us? Yes, because I want you to know that whatever you hear from now on about me that might come from uh, Nemchik or people that might be loyal to Nemchik, including those two security guards. You can take with a grain of salt. Okay. You've explained to We've us already, already. We, we already understand that, okay? We need to leave. We have got something else we need to go to. You've been given all the information we could possibly give you, okay? You have a good night, Jonathan. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good night, officers. You may have to come back tomorrow, Mr. Skates, because we are obviously oh, very good right. and busy. Oh, just take a minute. What's the minute? What do you need? Yeah, no problem. On Saturday or Friday okay. night, Saturday morning, yeah. I was standing on Fremont Street, okay. uh, minding my own business, when I was yeah. suddenly yeah. Uh, swarmed yeah. by that uh, eight to yeah. ten yeah. Uh, so police officers. Eight police officers? Yes. Yeah. Eight to ten. Yeah. As well, um, I was immediately put in handcuffs. These police officers were being directed by two security guards who I knew well over a month ago who worked in the Walgreens and have demonstrated loyalty to Mark Minshew. I've been able to find out that the cause of that was that, and I can also say this with some certainty, a call was put it's in to police in November, saying that somebody had a gun in the Walgreens. Company. What's the this this report so was specifically company. made in order to uh, get me yeah, in trouble or time. off the street. The but I don't mind coming back in the morning if I can get this set. After they let me out of the handcuffs, I asked them for all that. They were very dismissive and didn't want to talk to me at all. Then I turned my camera on and said, I'm recording you. And then their attitude changed. And it turns out they gave me a fake incident warning. Two of them on camera. What's the incident number that they gave you? 122 4860. Okay. Sorry, officers. I one two two four eight six zero. That's your incident number. One two two four four. No four eight six zero. One two two four eight six zero. Six zero. Yep. One two two. I'm sorry. Four eight six zero. Okay. Uh, apparently they think I don't. Um, but um, best part was they gave you a asking, false number too. That's right, that false report number because they wanted to bury it because they have realized at that point, um, or they always knew all along that they either got the false report because CJ told them, "Oh well, yeah, it came from Mike." Uh, or I don't. That's the part I don't know. But I do know that I've been seeking information about why I was handcuffed ever since I was handcuffed on uh, July 29th, and I have no answer. Yeah, it's total right, stolen. Right now, people that need begins. to give you the answer better start giving it soon. Absolutely. Before they don't have a, a, an ounce of, of, of anything to, to turn their lives around. 
yeah, you, where where they can move on from this. It's only going to get worse the further longer they try to cover it up because the cover, cover up the cover is, is worse, worse than, than the crime. crime. <laughs> like the famous Watergate, uh, um, you know, um, expression where Nixon. Well, we're right now approaching forty five. Let's yeah. let's just come. Let's let's end this because like, I don't want to bore anybody. Just one last thing, and then we'll let everybody go, and we'll get uh, back to work on other things. Um, so yeah, the gun story is. I asked those two officers, Ballinger and Brewer, in that video that's our, that was already posted at the same time, and that's a couple hours after the handcuffing. I'm asking, um, you know, why was I handcuffed? I mean, apparently it had something to do with a gun. But again, they stonewalled at that time, gave a false number to try to, to get rid of me, which I now know is false, and I knew the next day, and because there's a video in the police station of me asking about, hey, I have this report number they gave me. Uh, and he says it's uh, not a real report number. But they can't explain why they gave it to me. Anyway, I asked them then why I was handcuffed, and they stonewalled. I'm asking constantly for the past, what is it now, seven months, why was I handcuffed, and they've stonewalled. I want an answer. You got, we know now, Mike Nemchik made a false report. That's a crime. Or he laundered it through CJ, so that CJ would take the heat for that. But here, CJ made a uh, false statement to police that I had a gun. And he has to answer for that. And let me tell you this, as we're going to finish off, I know that we can come off very passionate, a little bit like Jerry Springer at times. But listen, everybody. I think we're being pretty uh, professional. We're doing the best to be professional. <laughs> Not Jerry Springer. I didn't say. But here's the deal, okay? If you guys follow us along the journey as more answers with the questions that are still developing every day because of what we're doing, you know, please do by all means stick with us because we're not giving lies and we're just giving you guys the damn truth. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm a firm believer, you know, the truth will set you free, you know, so I'm going to tell you right now, whether or not I miss some details, I don't recognize moment and maybe i you know just as guilty in some sort of way for doing certain things i shouldn't have ever been involved in, in the first place the bottom line is i don't i can give two rats if i even get myself in trouble at this point the factor is is that my goal is to make america aware of what's going on in front of you all whether you want to hear it or not and whether you want to hear it or not it's going to be the, the crucial thing you need to understand. Because one day, if this keeps keeps continuing, you're going to know somebody, or it even could be you, to be the next victim yeah. of Mike and Mark Nimchek. Yeah. And as a respectful uh, person who served in the military, I'm not backing down whether I got to take ownership or not, or I have to take ownership or not, you know, for some of the shit that I got myself involved in because of this mess. The factor is, is... Because of me and, and Kate's here, we're just making sure that you guys don't become the next victim. That's right. And at the end, as long as we succeed in our goal to shut Mark Nimchek up and his son and any affiliates that still want to defend them, you know, that's our goal. That's our 100% goal. Because being victimized is not fun. You know, especially in my case... Where now I'm still having to play the game of catch up. And having when to I see, don't need to be playing catch up. I mean, to see these people do these uh, 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 real crimes and things that are just really immoral openly without any accountability or impunity, just to have to see cops in our community, uh, you know, commit misconduct and to cover up stuff that's serious yeah. is not, it's not fun either. See and everybody. And we can't accept it. Well, yeah, we, we can't. I mean, I serve my country, and, and I definitely am uh, not going to lie. I'm not the most you know innocent person at times. But I tell you one thing I can't stand is that after serving my country, even though I got abused in the Marine Corps and I got out on the medical discharge, I still uphold what I was trained in the Marine Corps. And that's protect and serve. Something that not very many people in my position will do. You know, and, and I understand for reasons why, but... And you're no thief or scam artist, for no. sure. But at the end of the day, you know, I cannot stand when there's people like him around. And uh, him, I mean, Mark Nimchek, and even people like his son. 
they need to be held accountable. And until then, yeah. if you guys want this to come to an end and have us do something more enjoyable for you to watch and get, get more attracted to, you know, that we can come up with down the road, it starts with you guys. Stay tuned. It starts with you guys. Get the information. Just look at the evidence you present. Make up your own mind. When you have time. Do you want to believe us? You can believe the all the evidence we've put out. You and when it's talk, we're talking about who Mark Nimchik is in the past. Of course, you can believe the uh, Attorney General's office of New Jersey. You can believe the national media that covered him and his nine eleven truck scam and mentioned his past crimes that go back even further. Or you can believe a uh, a real Navy SEAL, Don Shipley, who busted him in twenty eleven. Who backs up, real back here? Backs up. Who the actually served in the Marine Scumbag Nimchik is. I, and all, our mind is this. Okay, if you are like us and don't want to have that happen to you, then do your job. That's right. As as a good person that you want, you want and and you want to keep your good lifestyles that you have, and just join us and stuff. People like Mark Nimchik. Yeah, because this is insidious and it it it, it kind of snowballs into like a a normalization of just lies on the part of the scam artists, but also corruption and just just looking the other by. By police, but also just in a social sense, it indicates something is wrong with society when something is going on like this and people just kind of shrug it off and look the other way. And if you don't want people like Get him under the rug, if you don't want people like him to be talking and annoying you with, with the <laughs> way he talks, then guess what, public? Get in gear and make things happen that we need your help in, or so likely we're going to need your help in. Because I have no problem keeping up on this matter until Mark Minchek is stopped and seeing what his son. Yeah, we can, and we can put up some phone numbers uh, and contact information for police and uh, local media. Like your own evidence, like we media. have. And, yeah, and, if you have... Uh, if you don't like what we're saying, if you, you know Nimchik, opinions. if you've met him, if you've got any information to share with us, we're interested, just reach out to yeah. us. Again, yeah. we, we are not here to bash... You know, everybody, like we've already bashed, you know, the the Arcadia. Bashing, Metro, you know, we're bashing people who deserve to be bashed. Yeah, but listen, we don't like to be mean to the people that, and there's a, that shouldn't be, you know, ridiculed on because they, they have they have a responsibility of their own that we respect every day of our lives. That's right. But, again, you know, without enough, you know, support, we can just keep this going until eventually the support finally has had enough of Mark Nimchak and actually finally do some, do something. But don't forget, if you guys actually do it too late, the question is how much damage is going to come if you don't do it now instead of later. Yeah. You know, how many more, how many more victims are there going to be, you know, after this video, because people still want to say like in some of the other videos, well, I don't care. Or you're a piece of, you know, garbage. Right. You know. Hey. Or we're just, uh, we're, or we have some kind of personal axe to grind, and that's why we're doing this. Or the most disgusting to me suggestion is that we're somehow uh, uh, in this for some kind of personal gain. No, we're not gaining, I'm not, not gaining anything from this. Just, just, like, look at, look at, just remember this. If you ever see me out there on, on the strip or the free mind, you know. <laughs> We do things a little bit differently. Yeah. And don't believe right. any lies you hear from the Nimchicks, or don't believe any bad right. things you might hear about us because doing, they're not true. In relation to, to this case, you know, case that we're dealing with, or what he does. The lies spread by Nimchik. It's not, it's not about uh, money gain and popularity. It's, Absolutely not. It's it's about... It's Look, we need, it is about popularity gain. And people will say, like, oh, uh, it's a... Some, some police said one time, oh, well, 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 you just want attention. I'm like, you're, you're damn right I want attention. Yes, I admit it. I'm online, and I'm posting a lot of videos, and I'm on social media because I want attention, yes. Not for myself, not to promote myself or something I'm doing. I want attention on this story. Have you seen me? Or so something can be done about it because it's important, because it matters, and nobody else is covering it. Uh, local media's dropped the ball, you know, Um so I'm doing it myself. We're doing it ourselves. And so that's why I want the attention, because I want the truth to get out. And, and that might sound crazy to people in this day and age. Because like, well, why would you care? Who cares? Who cares? Right. I care. We definitely do care. Please, you know, come say hi and get more information. Your phone is dead. And I guess, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Um, just... Uh, 
Yeah, what you were saying before about how we're not like uh uh um uh... oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, there's this hashtag on uh, on TikTok that I like. Uh, it's called uh, it? Truth Tellers, Not Haters. Um, and like you were saying, like we're not some petty people who are just have some axe to grind with, with Nimchik. This is a real like news story. It's uh, a real news story. <laughs> and you got two victims here who are, you know, trying to recover. Now, you know, at the end of the day, we got his way. He wants to do it. I got my way. Now, you just know this. You know, if anything, just, just know this. We are doing nothing more and less but getting the truth out. We are sitting here not going to give up on the matter of Mark Nimchek and Mike Nimchek and their there's schemeful ways of what they're doing, victimize people like me and you. But again, if you guys don't uh, participate, you know, just remember, you could be the next victim. Yeah. Your friend could be the next victim. Yeah. Your aunt, uncle. Hell, you got you got people graduating high school ready to live on their own, and you know they're they either live or plan on moving to Vegas. You know, you know if he sees a if Mark and Mike Dimchek sees what they want to see just to get you to fall victim just like I did, they're going to utilize you very well, and it's not going to be a pretty picture again. Look at what we're doing. You know, I was homeless. You know, because of them, you know, you lost a job. So, I like how you going. Yeah, that's right. It's it's not just about the the asked uh, crimes and misdeeds that we're talking about, uh, trying to get accountability for. We're trying to prevent in the future things like this happening too, because we're setting an example that this will not stand. And um, I guess I would just say uh, to wrap it up. Um, we're not just exposing Nemchik, even though the account is called Exposing Mark Nemchik. We're exposing all the people who have uh, enabled him and uh, his scamming and his uh, 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 crimes against uh, people who try to expose him. Um, whether that's Arcadia Security, whether that's the LBMPD, or whether that's individuals around him who he's uh, either brainwashed or given things to, like that bottle of liquor uh, that he gave Sonny D. My name is Sonny D. Yes. Let's finish to uh, to uh, help him. That's who we're exposing. And that, and um, I guess the point of this video, because we have good evidence, and you're backing it, you're giving the the best evidence yet that that July 29th handcuffing handcuffing was uh, fishy. I would say this. A lot of you, whether you've just uh, uh, paid attention to this account and this story, or whether you've been with it from the beginning. You might be thinking something like, well, you, well maybe you don't care at all. Maybe you hate my, my videos. Maybe you support scammers, and you don't like me for exposing them. But uh, uh, you might be thinking, well, you know, I like his videos a lot, but um, I think you might be barking up the wrong tree or coming out of left There's field. Lot, again, coming out of left field with some of these accusations and um, suggestions and speculations that he's making. And I can completely understand that because I have been doing a terrible job of presenting it, a, you know, fully to the to the public because it's a very complicated story. Like I said, I'm not a journalist. So um, I guess the last thing I would leave you with is if you look at the the evidence we've we've laid out just on July 29th in this video, that that goes for a lot of other incidents, and. You might be thinking that, you know, hey, maybe I am just, maybe it's true that Nimchik is a scumbag and a, and a scam artist, but you're really, I think you're, you're coming out of left field with the, your speculations about the police being involved, you know, but a lot of people have actually, who, 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 who invest the, the time to look at the evidence, both in real life that I've met and online, they say that. And they say, like, huh, well, after they, they get that impression, but then after they look at the evidence, they start to say, huh, yeah, maybe you're right. That's weird. 
Yeah, I don't have an explanation for that. Maybe the police really are working with Nimchik and <laughs> working with him too. I've heard that again Look at and, the again clues and again and again. Look again at the clues people. in the video if you do your research correctly. Yeah, people come around after a while. So, so don't prejudge anything. And I know there's a lot of evidence. We always say there's a lot of evidence. It's a big story. But we know we're going to get in. Just, just keep an open mind. Look at the evidence. Don't take our word for it. Just look at the evidence. Yeah, and, and my ending speech is this. We know we're going to get enemies in this. We're going to get some hateful, you know, comments. Okay? Uh, oh, no, uh, we, no, we will. No. We will. Look what, look what you know, you've got other footages that haven't been posted yet because... It's always a few like, really weird people who are like, scammers are cool. What are you doing? Leave them alone. I mean, when they say, leave, leave, he's an old man in a wheelchair. And then they come along and say, either way. Oh, he really is bad. Yeah, you're doing a good job, actually. In a way... I'm like, comes down to my, you know, for me to close this out. Yeah. Was. You got nothing left. Or is. You want to say. Conclusion. If you can, if you want to test our buttons, you know, don't, don't come barking up the wrong tree. You guys, we're not the enemies here. Okay. We are just normal people with a title like me. And, and I know my rights. I know my, you know, my laws basically. So I would strongly advise that if you're going to hate, and listen to Mark or try to stall stall me in any uh, non-legal way, which I've suspected and seen and happen to me before, you never will win. And I can tell you that uh, firsthand. And every time I've been in incidents, I'm not going to say I'm a, you know, too much on that, but it don't pay. We're pretty to, determined. It don't pay to come at us the wrong way at the end of the day, okay? If you don't like what we're doing, you can just move on. It's as simple as putting one foot in front of the other and turning the cheek the other way. Okay? If you are interested, then come talk to us. If you see us anywhere, sign or no sign. You know, these are the signs that we will be holding and walking around with most of the time. But Or maybe not, because apparently Nimchik has been shut down on uh, the strip and driven out of there. Has not been seen, according to sources with we, we, knowledge. We now acknowledge that definitely is banned from Fremont, at least for scamming and using those signs to, we, to already, solicit fraudulent already, donations. We've already affected their their operation right now. It doesn't mean that they can't come up with a new way to do an operation. And I was on a Fremont Street last night, actually Saturday night, with the sign, just for the heck of it. Even though I didn't expect to see him there, but if I ran into him, uh, would definitely be good to let people know. Um, and um, I guess we're just going to close it out this yeah. point. Yeah. You know, we'll talk more later. There's so Take much more, more to clips. talk about, and we're going to keep making more videos. So, um, it's exposing Mark Nimchik. YouTube is uh, our main um, uh, platform. Uh, if you find me, you can message me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, yeah, YouTube, TikTok, uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, where the name is just Mark Nimchik. But it's uh, got explosive American Nimchik under it. And uh, Twitter. That's it. That's it. I'd say we're good. We'll see you next time. Exposing Mark Nimchik.